Okay, and we are back. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. It's me. It's MD Tenebris. I'm back again to bring you some more mediocre gaming. Below me on the screen, I have two links. There is a red link to my YouTube channel. That is the MD Tenebris Gaming YouTube channel. If you like what you see today, feel free to go and check it out. I've got a uh, Polytopia gameplay. I've got Pokemon TCG live gameplay. So it's all there. You can like, you can subscribe. If you click the bell, it will let you know when there are new videos available. Purple link is to my Twitch. It's where I am now. I'm here every Saturday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. as well as other times. So, if you want to come and hang out and join the chat and talk to me live, feel free to do it here and now. If you want to get me offline, there is in the information box a link to a Discord channel. You can click on that. You will be admitted to the Discord channel. You can get me offline. You can talk about gameplay. You can talk about Polytopia or Pokemon talk about anything you like it's a, it's a server so feel free to do that so today today we're going back to the fire roots baby we're going to the incineroar ex this is a pretty cool looking pokemon um very very excited to play with this card uh 320 hp so quite a lot of HP, you have the ability Hustle Play. Attacks used by this Pokemon cost one energy less for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon, right? That is fantastic because we're playing in, and normally I'm playing anti-meta decks, so I'm playing stuff that just doesn't function for no reason. This actually is good for this meta. You have the Iron Valiant deck that wants to have a full bench. You have the Chimpow deck that wants to have a full bench. The Maridon EX deck that wants to have a full bench. Every fucking deck in the meta right now wants to have a full bench. And this, this hustle playability takes advantage of that. So, we have 5 energy costs for Blaze Blast, 240 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Not a huge amount of damage, that's okay. We are also going to be pairing this with the Litten. Can't remember what set this is from. I know the logo's right there, but I don't know what logo that is too. With the Reprisal attack. So, this attack does 20 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Meaning that when you have 310 damage counters on this Pokemon, if you have paired this Relicanth onto the bench with the Memory Drive ability, each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolutions, right? That allows you to use this Incineroar with the 310 damage and use that move, doing up to 620 damage, if I am not mistaken. I might be, I'm not great at math. So, that's the idea today. It's a two, it's a two prong deck. The first prong is you got this Incineroar. He does a bunch of damage based on how many bench Pokemon your opponent has. The other prong is you have this Incineroar, and when he has damage on him, he can use this Reprisal move, as long as you have the Relicanth on your deck, now on your bench. So, we have two means of getting this into operation. We have an Armorog in here with the Fire Off ability. As often as you like during your turn, you may move an energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. So, what do we have else in here? We have the Buddy Poffin. We have an Earthen Vessel to help us find some of those energy. We also have a Lady. Haven't played Lady for a while. We have a Lady in here. We have the Mela. You can use this card only if any of your Pokemon were knocked out. Attach a basic Fire Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon if you do draw cards until you have six in your hand. So we have a bunch of Rare Candy. We've got a bunch of Magma Basin. Very important. Have the Artisan to help us find our Relicanth or whatever basic Pokemon we need. The Lickitung. Got some nest balls in here. I got the Arwen. Got the Jack. Um, we do also have in here Technical Machine Evolution and Technical Machine Turbo Energize to help us evolve our Pokemon or energize them if we need. We can also use that as discards for the Ultra Ball. We got the Jet Energy in here. Went with the Neo Upper Energy because obviously the one that's going to be struggling to get the energy on it will be the Incineroar. So being able to just put two energy on it, um, I'm hoping will will be the thing to really help us without further ado let's get into the games okay so we're going up against ice dragon with the heads flip and they called heads a fellow heads flipper so oh i'm going first that's great great news you love that with an evolution deck it's really good it's really good when you get to go first all right, we got the Lickitung and the Radiant Greninja. No basic Pokemon again. 
They're gonna mulligan though. It's gonna be a Charizard EX deck. They have five mulligans. Interesting. Five mulligans. I will take that. Thank you. We get an extra Litten. We get an Ultra Ball. We have the Arvin so we can get the Incineroar up soon. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. And we got Buddy Buddy Poffin. Ho, 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 baby. Let's go like this. We're going to go like this. Uh, we're going to go like this. We have Mela as well. Interesting. And we got a lady. Oh, and we got the Neo. Oh, this is... This is filthy. I hope they don't Iono me. That would be so upsetting. This is such a potent hand. I have so much stuff to do. So I guess next we'll go Arvin, grab the rare candy, evolve one of the Littens into the Incineroar. Um, they're filling their bench up. So they've already reduced our energy cost to one. But we still need that fire energy on it. So we don't have a switch. We can't do the jet energy. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. So we're going Arvin here. We're going Rare Candy. Do I have a tool? I don't have... I do have a tool. Turbo Energized. I'm not going to grab it. Well, I'll grab it anyways. So we got the item. We got the tool. We're going to go Rare Candy. We're going to evolve this Litten into an Incineroar. Um, we're going to put an Energy on it. I'm going to put this Energy on it. We're going to discard the fire energy. Draw two cards. Another Incineroar. Turbo Energize. I could attach this and I could put uh, two basic fire energies onto my Pokemon any way I like, which would kind of be cool. Because I can't retreat and I don't think I'm going to find another Pokemon. Um, so let's do that. We're going to go Turbo Energize. And just grab two... Fire energies. Um, I'm going to put one on this lit in. And one. Mm. Sure. Sure, whatever. All right, that's the turn. Okay. So... Do you run switches? You can still use the ace energy. Um, I think I do have a switch or two. Um, I usually do. I might have forgotten in this one, actually. Um, that's a good shot. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'll have to go and take a look. That's a good question, though, because, yeah, it's, um, I normally have two. That's normally two, two switches, two bosses orders. But there's some interesting ones in this deck, like the lady I don't normally have in my decks these days. Um, I've been running lower on energy and stuff, um, especially with the, with the vessel. So that's a cool one, because basically uses the, uh, interesting... Getting rid of the rare candy. So he's just using the um, evolution thing to evolve his uh, his Pokemon rather than the rare candy as much. Grabs the two fire energy. I wonder if he's going to retreat and knock out the Lickitung. That would make sense. Or he's going for the Pidgeot and the... Uh, the, uh, the other one, the Char. Char Char. Charmeleon. Alright, so what I think I want to do is I want to switch this guy in. I want to boss his orders and I want to jet energy onto the Incineroar. Um, I 
think that's the plan. So we'll go jet energy here. And then we'll go boss's orders. And actually, I could go for the Pidgeot EX instead. Um, it doesn't have a retreat cost. Not a big fan of that idea, though. Um, and yeah, we'll just go 240 at this guy. Mm, and he's burned. I forgot that. You get the burn. Oh. And he's not burned. That's okay. Got that extra damage in there. So I guess having the 50, the extra 50 damage on that, 290 plus the 20 to 310 would kind of be very nice. I'm not sure if you could pump the damage up anymore. Maybe you could throw those Rapid Dash that give like all your fire type Pokemon like plus 20 damage. That would be an interesting one. Um, he can retreat this guy as well. It's just going to like mess up his energies a little bit. It would make more sense to sacrifice it and get the get the power on your Charizard EX. Um, we do have a Mela. We want to get access to the Mela. So we should use... I think we'll go Jacques next and we'll grab the Armor Rogue and the Toracat. Um, and the Ultra Ball gives us the opportunity to deal with... Um, deal with issues as well hmm oh okay yeah we're gonna go hmm I don't even have to go for the tour cat with the rare candy hmm okay I know what I'm doing here there we go so the lick -a lily has the body slam which does 50 damage and paralyzes your opponent, which is kind of cool. Um, I can go Rare Candy now, get rid of one of the Incineroar EXs. Um, I'm not going to play the Buddy Buddy Poffin. I'm not going to use that ability. I'm just going to hit this guy again. Ugh. We get two prize cards here. Okay, so maybe I will not. I guess I can use the Ultra Ball to get rid of shit I don't need. Um, I could get rid of, well, I could go, could use it to find the last Litten or even Relicanth. Ooh, kind of want the Relicanth then now because it's got that ability. Rapidash needs an energy to discard though. Hmm, that would make it a little tricky. Hmm. All right, what are you gonna do, Ice Dragon? All right, what am I gonna do? Um, I could use the Ultra Ball to find the Relicanth and get rid of some stuff like that. And then with the Relicanth on the bench, I get access to um, the much more superior move that the Litten has, where it doubles the damage counters. Because we'd be doing 360 right now with this Incineroar, which is a g huge amount of damage. So we'd be able to one-shot most things. Hmm. So they're doing 240 now. Okay. So, gotta hope that the Relicanth is in the deck. What do we get? A Magma Basin. We're going to go Magma Basin here. I'm going to go Ultra Ball. We're going to go Buddy Poffin and Lady. Done. And we're going to grab the Relicanth. Fuck yes. All right, we go Relicanth here. Do we have, we can use our move, 240, we can use our move, because he's still got three. Um, I'm gonna put the fire energy onto the armor rogue for now. Um, go like this, and attach this to the armor rogue again. We got a boss's orders, I like it. Um, so let's do Super Rod. We'll throw Super Rod. We'll throw 
this all back. No problemo. Can go nest ball, find a litten. Get another litten. There we go. Um, can discard this. Yeah, this Greninja is helping a lot. I'm very happy with this. And now we can use the Magma Basin to put that on the Litten. Oh, baby. Um, and we're just going to hit the opponent's Charizard for 240 and burn them for 260. Very nice. Oh, you know what I should do? I should go and find a Pokemon that makes burns count for more. Isn't there a Centiscorch that, like, twi doubles burns? Oh, dude. That sounds fucking nasty. I gotta have a look. I have... Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Just upping the damage amount from this guy. And, like, obviously, the Litten and the Relicanth, like, that's done. Like, you kind of don't even need the Lickalily because most decks will have, like two to three Pokemon on the bench, making this a two to three energy cost. Like, that's not too bad. Um. Mmm. I think that one might have just rotated. Ah, fair. Hey, face leader, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing, my friend? All right, Ice Dragon is using the Ultra Ball. They're gonna discard two cards. They're gonna go and find something. A Charizard EX. They're getting a rare candy. They're evolving this guy. Are they just going to retreat and bring this guy in and hit him? This is going to be great. When I get to one-shot this fucker. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. It's a, it's a sunny day where I'm at. The dishes are done. You know, I've got a fun new deck to play. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I got the uh, three stars on Illyrium that I enjoy. So, yeah. This doesn't help him either because he's got dark Pokemon, not fire Pokemon. So that's great for us. Yeah, how about you, man? Really haven't been playing Pokemon at all since the account lockout. Yeah, I'm not surprised though. Like, <laughs> like that makes 100% sense. I totally get what you're saying there. This Magma Basin Greninja shit is perfect. It's so perfect. Oh, look at that. It's just so good. And then you're powering up the Litten as well. It's like, ah, oh, man, it's poetry. Um, we're going to use the Reprisal for 480 damage. Take out this Charizard EX. Bang. Crazy. Crazy. That's great. Oh, man, I love that. All right, let me read this. Hang on. We understand the frustration that the 10011 error blocking your game access is causing. We do apologize, but at this time, support does not have any additional information or updates to provide. As soon as we have an update, we'll reach back out. Your ticket is being placed on hold so that we can reply as needed. That is garbage. That sucks, man. I don't know how. I don't know how you deal with that. Could it be? Did you use that glitch to get stuff? Could it be that? Could they have like flagged your account and been like, "We're gonna take this." very slowly and just ruin this person's life it seems to be the kind of people they are i gotta say with these with these fucking sarcastic ass emotes and the fucking the victory poses damn so just the innocent being tortured that's awful that's terrible i'm sorry you gotta deal with that <clears throat> <laughs> seems like that's the account to do man Ooh, so they're just going to concede. All right, manhandled the Charizard. We love it. One win on the day. GG. Waiting for a hit Torres. Flipping the coin. Calling the shot. Looks like a psychic deck, but who knows? Hmm. A heads flipper. All right. Maybe they were busy doing something else. That took a while. Uh, what are the odds they disconnect during the match? They won the coin flip. They're picking who goes first. Is it me? 
It's not me. Okay. Going second. Let's see what we get. Ooh. A Litten, a Jacques. Another Lost Zone deck. Do I bother, man? I guess we could try it. We do have lady here in magma basin and jack so actually i can use the jack to grab um torah cat there's a chance that they get the fucking cram rant though and they just fucking kill me um which would be annoying okay so it's it's a weird lost zone deck i guess um zatu draw engine mewtwo ex psychic deck with giratina v star that's bizarre as fuck Interesting. All right, let's see how it goes. They got tails. They're gonna have to go for a basic Pokemon to put on their bench. Hmm. Yeah. See, at the at the start of a game, that shit's kind of good because you can. It doesn't really matter what you grab, but later on, when you really need to grab something, like that's so worse than a Nest Ball or an Ultra Ball. It's tough. Oh, Litten's got to look so scared. I don't like the Litten looking scared. All right, we got another Litten. So we're going to go Litten. We're going to go Energy here. We're going to go for the Jacques. I'm going to go and grab myself the Cat And another Incineroar. Let's do that. Um, And we're going to go Gnaw for 10 damage. Nice. All right. Not a bad first go. Ah, the fact that we have Lady is great. Um, and Magma Basin already is wonderful. Um, I guess unless we find a Arwen or a Rare Candy, we're going to evolve the starter into the Torah Cat. It's interesting it only gets 10 HP from the Litten of the Torah Cat. That's very bizarre for me. Um... That's so weird that it's only 80 HP. But I guess it's got the gritty claws. So it can like... The idea is you play the Tor Cat. They hit it. It survives with 10 HP. And then you evolve it into the Incineroar. And it's got 70 damage on it that you can use the Reprisal on. And you get 140 damage straight off the bat. Um, We'll see. We'll see. I don't think they have any psychic energy in their discard pile to use the transfer charge with. No. Um, I guess we'll go Torah Cat here. Um, do I go Artisan? I think we do. I think we go Artisan. Um, we go Lady. Grab some fire energy. We like that. Um, they already have three on the bench. So I only need one more. I'm not going to risk it on this guy. I'm going to go Artisan here. Flip the coin. Oh, no. I don't even have to for this. Uh, we'll grab the Lit Leo now. Um, I guess I should have put it on here and used the Gritty Claws. That would have made more sense. I'm a little stupid for not doing that. Um... The Relicanth means I can use Gnaw again. I guess we'll use Gnaw again. So it's 30 more. So 30, 60, 70. So I would have 10 HP left. That was really kind of risky. Um, hopefully they don't find a Zatu. Because the Zatu would allow them to just take the Torque Hat out. And then I'd be totally fucked. Ugh. Alright, K9. Take it easy, man. Thanks for coming for the stream. I hope you had a good time. And uh, enjoy your sun, uh, your Saturday. I hope you have a good one. Oh, man. That was dumb. I should have put the energy onto the Torah Cat, and I should have used Gritty Claws. And if I had done that, I would feel so much fucking better about this. That feels okay. That feels okay. They just detached that. So it looks like they have to use Transfer Charge again, which they can't use. So that looks all right.
I'm feeling a little better. We're gonna get the one hit knockout on this with the Incineroar next. And their their bench has four Pokemon on it, so we're all good. Like I'm gonna be hitting for 240 with the Incineroar. I don't even need to worry about the um, the reprisal yet. Oh, please survive this turn. I can't believe I fucking did that with the energy. I can't believe I did that. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Okay. We're in a good spot. We've got the Charcadet as well, so we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. We're going to go Artisan. We're going to grab ourselves another Litten. We're gonna put, I don't need to put the energy on there. We're gonna put Magma Base in here to stop him getting anything else. And then I think I'm gonna put one more for the reprisal. And we're gonna go like this, 240, we're gonna knock it out, it's gonna burn. It's not gonna burn, I like that. They got rid of the extra animations after you died. They just take get rid of the card, so that's cool. Magma Basin Incineroar. So, very nice. We just need to find some Arvins, some rare candies. We're in a good fucking spot. And they are stalling out. So, they do not have all the energy they need. I haven't even seen that many energy. I've seen one energy. This is going to be a, a heavy energy reliant deck, considering the not to. Um... Hmm. Fuck, I love this Incineroar deck so much, dude. So fun. That lady comes in clutch so hard. What does this do? Search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, then put those cards on top of it in any order. There's a crazy looking future deck that I want to take a look at. Uh, that might be the deck I do next time. Where it's like the you, you discard all the, the cards, the future cards. You do 70 damage per one. There's so many interesting new future cards and ancient cards, and I just haven't been dabbling with those decks. Similar to when the Rapid Strike and Single Strike came out, and I just did nothing, and then I started playing them later, and I was like, these are so fun. Um, so I gotta check those out. But this Incineroar EX is fucking banging. Hey, hey Torres, what are you doing? All right, perfect. I'm gonna put a fire energy on there. We're gonna get the one hit KO with the Blaze Blast. It's just too strong right now. It's just too strong. We got the boss's orders so we can end the game next turn. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hmm. Ooh, but we don't have a switch. Very weak to this strategy. Who's he putting forward? Pyroar would probably be best because I don't have the extra energy for the retreat. It's going to take two turns to get him out of there. Goes for the Litten. Oh, I guess that's two as well. So, yeah. But what if I get the um, rare candy, my dude? Danger. All right, so... Oh, uh, if we find the jet energy next turn, that'd be great. I should put some switches in here. I need to I need to re reconfigure this deck. It's got a little too much shit in it. Um Single Pyroar, single Charcadet line. I think those would be better. Um you don't need to take an extra two cards with those two. I can make those two into switches. They're not necessary to win. They're just like helpful. The relicanth is really important. Oh, we got it. We got the jet energy. Bang. Okay. We're going to take the last two prize cards. 
And that is a win. Look at that. Two wins on the day. You love to see it. So, that is going to be it from me today. I hope everyone that came along for the stream had a good time. I had a pretty good time. This is a, this is a fun card. I don't think my deck has optimized it uh, as well as I'd like. So, uh, definitely recommend taking it out, figuring it out if there's anything you could do with it. Um, it's a very fun card. There's a ton of decks that are playing around having a lot of bench Pokemon. Um, so the hustle playability really, really helps. And then when you pair it with this Litten, you do get the Reprisal with the Relicanth, which allows you to just go and do a ton of damage. But yeah, below me on the screen, there are two links. There is a red link to my YouTube channel. That is the MD Tenebra's gaming YouTube channel. If you like what you saw today, feel free to go check it out. I have Polytopia gameplay. I have Pokemon TCG Live gameplay. We open boosters. We build decks. We do strategy stuff. So, it's all there. You can like. You can subscribe. If you click the bell, it will let you know when there are new videos available. The purple link is to my Twitch. That's where I am now. I'm here every Saturday at 2 p.m. and every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. So, if you want to come and hang out and join the chat, talk to me live, discuss anything about what I'm playing, that is when you can do it. There is also in the information box a link to a Discord channel. If you want to get me offline, discuss any of the things, any of the games I play or anything in general, feel free to do it there. So I would like to thank everyone that came along for the stream today. And you, the viewer at home, if you're watching this after the fact on Twitch or YouTube, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. I hope you enjoy the content. And if you do, consider liking and subscribing and following and all that good stuff. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday. I hope you have a fantastic night's sleep tonight. Very restful night's sleep. You wake up hungry to finish the rest of your weekend and look forward to the week that is coming. So, it's going to be it from me today. This is MD Tenebris. I'm signing off. So, take it easy. Peace out. And adios. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye.